How are you going? I'm just going to do a quick overview of how the Ready to Drive board works, um, its uses, and generally what it's for, as well as the implementation uh, for EV1. So the Ready to Drive shutdown circuit, it's the, uh, it's the backbone for the Ready to Drive procedure, which requires the driver to conduct several steps in order to allow the motors to respond to the app's output. So uh, the steps are the GLVMS must be switched on to power the grounded low voltage system uh, within the car. The brake pedal must also, must also be uh, sorry. The brake pedal must be pressed at the same time as the dash switch. Um, and then once this is done, the car will be armed and in ready to drive mode. Uh, and then a, a horn will be sounded for two seconds at a minimum of eight decibels. Um, now, once this is all done, the car is uh, in ready to drive and should be treated as such. Uh, so I'm just going to, going to do a quick run through of the basic schematics of the board, uh, sorry, the schematic of the board as well as the um, the board itself. So this is just a plug, uh, so that's this guy up here, and all of these labels here correlate to um, these uh, labels here. So you have your speaker positive and ground, so they go to the speaker obviously. Um, we then have our four switch pins, so you've got your two for the dash, um, so when the dash is pressed, it means that uh, these will be shorted together. And then you've got your brake, bu your brake uh, pedal button as well. So when the brake is pressed, these two will also be shorted together, which will turn the, uh, the brake lights on as well as conducting the ready to drive procedure, um, which we do. And we then have the two throttle pins. So the throttle in, which is actually the output of the apps board, which is sent to the ready to drive. And then uh, also the throttle out, which is then sent to the two motor controllers um, to yeah, send them the signal uh, as required. We've then got our standard uh, reverse polarity protected 12 volt input, which is this guy here. Um, and this correlates, uh, sorry, this comes from the output of the shutdown circuit board. So this means that when the shutdown circuit is uh, all working fine, um, so all the e-stops are disconnected, all of the uh, so the wheel interlocks are still connected. Um, it means that this will be powered um, and it goes through this 12 volt, sorry, it goes the other way through this diode um, to ensure that polarity is correct. Uh, we then get our final plug, which goes to the brake light as well as the dash light because the dash switch is actually uh, an LED powered button, which is uh, pretty nifty. So actually I'll talk about that now. So that, uh, that button has two states. It's either off, which indicates that the car is either in ready to drive mode or that the car has no power at all, so GLVMS is powered off. Or it means that the, uh, or the light can be turned on, which means that the car is on, um, but not yet in ready to drive mode. So I'll talk about how that works just down here with the circuit. Uh, so the first step is the brake switch. So it's a simple switch, which means that this guy um, goes to the input of the switch and this guy comes from the output of the switch. So when the brake is pressed, these two are connected together. Um, and when that's done, it goes to this little relay circuit down here, which powers the brake light. Uh, you've then got your main relay, and this is a this is called a flyback diode. Um, and this is explained in the uh, helpful circuits uh, wiki as done by Michael Rupe. So, um, yeah, have a look there to, to learn what these do uh, and their main purpose. So when this brake pedal is switched, it uh, powers this coil, which then connects these two um, pins together and connects your 12 volt source, which is this guy up here, um, to the uh, brake light, your brake light pin, which is this guy here, uh, which then just turns on the three lights on the back of uh, EV1. So that's the simple brake light circuit, um, which correlates to one of these two relays, which are G5V1s, um, our standardized 12 volt relays. Now, to go into ready to drive procedure, you need to press the brake and the dash button both at the same time. So when you press the brake, this is shorted, and then when you press the dash button, this is also shorted. So when you do them both at the same time, you've got uh, your 12 volt power over here, um, and this is where everything really interesting for this circuit happens. So this is our uh, G5V2 relay, which is our double pole um, single throw uh, relay, which is uh, super handy because you can do multiple different things with it um, on the same relay, which is yeah really, really nice. So we'll first look at it um, 
when there's not power at the dash return side of things. So when uh, the car is not in ready to drive mode. And when that's occurring, your 12 volts is being sent from pin 4 to pin 6 uh, and powering this little circuit here, which is your not ready to drive real, uh, LED, um, this guy here, as well as your dash uh, LED. So as explained before, if the dash is the dash LED is illuminated, it means the car is not in ready to drive mode. Um, and that's how this guy works up here. Um, if we then look at our second pole, uh, we can see that the throttle in is by standard connected to nothing at all, which means that this throttle is just being sent to nowhere. Um, and this throttle out is connected to nothing at all. So it's receiving zero volts at the um, at the signal, sorry, at the motor controllers, which means the motor controllers isn't seeing anything at all. However, when both of these buttons are pressed, as explained before, uh, it powers the coil and then connects these two contacts um, down to their corresponding uh, pins. So it'll send you 12 volts to pin 8, um, which then will start by going up, uh, which then powers this uh, ready to drive LED, which is this guy up here. Um, which is a visual representation on the board of whether the car is or is not in ready to drive mode, which is super handy. Um, at one point in 2019, we had the uh, speaker go bust for a little while, uh, and we had we could still see if the car was in ready to drive mode or not just from this visual diagnostics um, on the board. So when this 12 volts is powering here, it's also being sent back through here, and this is kind of where all the magic happens. So this is called a latching relay circuit. Uh, so when you've got power there, it connects these two pins here and then sends your 12 volt signal back up and down to here again, which means that anything that happens over here, so say if we disconnect um, the dash return pin and this button is released uh, and hence there's no 12 volts there anymore from this side of the circuit, there's still being 12 volts sent through this, co uh, through this contact and back up and around to latch itself. So this means that this relay is going to stay closed um, no matter what happens on this side of the circuit, um, just through this simple latching circuit, which is super helpful and super handy. Um, and this can be used in multiple different areas uh, if required, but for this uh, implementation, it's perfect. So uh, if we then look at our second pole, um, the throttle in will be connected to the throttle out, and because of this latching circuit, there's nothing that can happen that can disconnect these until uh, this 12 volts is disconnected. And because this 12 volts is being supplied by the shutdown circuit, it means the only way to disconnect these is by uh, closing the, uh, sorry, opening up the shutdown circuit. So by pressing an e-stop, for example, we'll disconnect these and depower this entire board. Um, yeah, so that's how the ready to drive board uh, latches closed. Uh, once that occurs, you then have 12 volts also being sent down here. Now, this may be a bit intimidating to first look at, but this is a simple 555 time, uh, timing circuit, which essentially times for two seconds. So Q is your output, which then goes to your, uh, your speaker circuit. So when everything's working, sorry, when the car is not in ready to drive mode, uh, so let me start that again. When the car is in ready to drive mode, so when it's first initially turned on, um, this timing circuit will count down for two seconds and then set Q to be, uh, to be high after two seconds. So that means that when both of those two buttons up there are pressed, this pin here will be high after two seconds. So it'll be closed and then count one, two, which is then sending 12 volts to here for two seconds. And then Q will go high, which closes this coil um, and then closes these two contacts. And then there's no longer power being provided to the speaker, which means that, uh, yeah, it means that this speaker will be powered for two seconds and then will not be powered again until the car is turned off. Uh, sorry, the shutdown circuit is disconnected again. So that's generally how the ready to drive board uh, works and all of the pins um, can be uh, are labeled on the board and they're labeled correctly. Uh, so it's as simple as uh, reading those to know the pin out of the board.
Um, so you've got your brake lights over here as well as the grounds over this side, sorry your brake and dash lights. You've then got your 12 volt and ground coming from your shutdown circuit. You've got your speaker positive and negative. Uh, you've then got your brake positive and negative, your dash positive and negative, and then your throttle connection points. So that's, uh, that's generally how the ready to drive board works um, for the implementation of EV1. And if you did want to make any modifications, uh, such as this timing circuit, there's the two timing com uh, components over here. So that's your timing resistor and your timing capacitor. So you could change those to suit however you wanted. Uh, but I'd suggest looking up this 555, um, I believe it's called monostable uh, timing circuit, uh, just to get a feel for it and uh, modify it as you see fit. So there's simple calculators online that do all this for you. Um, and just drop that circuit in, uh, yeah, as you see, and that's how it works.